Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. Sign up for a one-week free trial, no credit card required, for access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. Looking at SPY, IWM, and QQQ, so the weakness continued today, and this is new. This is not the same pattern. We have seen the same Thursday pattern with weakness four weeks in a row now, but the follow-through day the past three times did not break the low of Thursday. Today we broke that low. We back-tested and rejected from the middle Bollinger Band resistance. We closed with a sell-off at the end of the day Friday, and we have high bear volume. All of that being said, this was the exact same setup minus the fact that we broke to a lower low as compared to last week. The last thing I expected was a gap up open. Fortunately, I'm not a swing trader, so I wasn't locked into anything. But the last thing I suggest, say, expected was a gap up open and a close up at the high of the day. It was a complete 180 turnaround that had no indication of occurring on the time frame on the daily chart. So knowing that, we have to be aware that that's a possibility. But I'm just still waiting for this weakness to really take hold. I don't think we're going to see... You know, not, just, not necessarily saying we're going to see further dumps, but just looking for lower highs and lower lows to begin forming for a while and looking for weekly time frames to top out. We lost, we have moved past the momentum from earnings season, and now we have another few months where, you know, can this strength in 2017 really keep up or are we going to see some more prolonged healthy consolidation? And right now, I think that's where we are headed. So looking down at a gap fill at 242.55, we filled that level. The key level, which is going to be the weekly key level as well, is the low down here at 239.96. You can see we consolidated for a month. We built a base of support, another move to the upside, and now we're starting to consolidate again. Can't ignore the volume. Look at the volume three of the last seven days. It's bare volume. So the weekly time frame, losing exponential support and closing back below it on increased bare volume. We have a bearish TCG cross closing in for potentially the first time in the last 10 months. And we are going to test this middle Bollinger Band on the weekly time frame. It looks like that's going to be up around 242 this coming week. And that's going to be very close to where we're trading. So here's that base of support at 239.96. These are all red flags. These are all saying we need to keep a heads up now. We need to have exit plans for bullish positions. And we need to be potentially looking for some further weakness. IWM has been showing us this weakness for about two extra weeks. We are now at three-month lows. We have 134.06. We hit 134.12 today. So we do still have that one support. But on the weekly here, it's been a month of drop. And the absolute key level for IWM for me is 131.83. It was a double bottom on the weekly time frame. That has been our base of support over the last nine months. And if we were to lose that level, that would lose the uptrend and have us looking at this gap of 126.28. So there's a lot more weakness in IWM than these other two names. QQQ broke the low of last Thursday, so we have lower highs and lower lows continuing. There's a gap down here that's a target at 139.22. And on the weekly time frame for QQQ, we're watching for the potential bearish TCG cross for the first time in 2017. A lot more wiggle room before a higher low. That, that low was back at 135.80, consolidated for a month, built that base, and then saw a significant move, but we have increasing bear volume, and look at the bear volume compared to the vol volume from June to August. And I gave a, a prediction of a feeling where I felt like the tech sector was going to be bearish in Q3. Obviously, that has not played out so far. We're halfway over and not going to give up on that just yet, but certainly less likely the fact that we did see continuation. But starting to see weakness is the main point behind this video and not ready to go all bear but definitely ready to protect all our bullish positions and be looking for weakness. And my game plan when I head into every day is to have names to look at bullish if the market is strong and names to look at bearish if the market is weak. And the market is seeing the most significant weakness that we have seen with volume to back it up in 2017. And you just look at the weekly time frame, and we have seen two periods, two major, I guess we could call it three major periods of consolidation. And this is the most convincing in terms of week with two very high volume solid bear weeks in a row with no lower wick closes at the low both times so we'll see if we're going to get further downside again doesn't have to be a dump it can just be lower highs and lower lows 
But these are red flags the past two weeks in terms of, okay, we need to be looking at maybe we're going to see our, our all-time high set for a, a few months at this point or maybe a year. We'll have to see. So I appreciate you watching. We'll check back in on Monday. See you then.